we show the penades or decoys in red and the reentry vehicles or RVs in black. At a predetermined point of the trajectory, the post boost vehicle or bus begins to maneuver into position for its first drop off. Visible on the bus are the two RVs and several decoys which are in the stowed position. The decoys are placed on the bus in this manner to maximize packaging. At the first drop off point, a decoy is released. The bus then continues to maneuver to the next drop off position where an RV is released. Also visible is the first deployed decoy which inflates to fully simulate the optical signature of the RV. The bus will now complete its pre-programmed routine and deploy all of the remaining vehicles into two trains of objects. The decoys and RVs are optically indistinguishable as they travel in the exo-atmosphere. When the re-entry train reaches the endo-atmosphere, the pyro motors on the vehicles ignite. The exo-replication inflatable splits in half and peels away. At the same time, the RV shroud, which is composed of the same materials as the decoy inflatable, also splits in half and separates concurrent with motor ignition. The endo decoy has begun to optically mask itself using its pyrotechnic motor. Inside the motor we see the twin stage configuration with the grain burning on the first stage followed by the second stage at a predetermined time. Similarly, we see the modular dual stage motor which optically masks the RV. The decoys burn up as the RVs successfully penetrate the defensive.